Hi, my name is Joseph Botello. And I'm Natalie Botello. We are the owners of the Bouquet Salon. Today we'll be showing you how to present a presentation bouquet of roses arranged in a glass vase. So when you receive your roses, you'll need to get a vase appropriate for the size of the roses. Um, usually on average about half the height of the rose. So if your vase is 10, 12 inches high, your roses should be 20, 25 inches high. You'll need to fill it with fresh water and slowly remove, carefully remove the packaging from the roses. In the back of the roses, you'll find a sachet of Flora Life product. This will need to go into the vase. This has nutrients in it and it helps keep the water clean and adjust the pH of the water, along with the small instruction, written instructions. You simply cut the end off. It's a liquid, so be careful, it's a bit sticky. And put this in the vase. It dilutes immediately. Your bouquet now, you'll have to separate the flowers, greens and baby's breath. You'll also have to remove the capsules, which are beyond the roses. This is uh, for us to keep the flowers fresh in transport from the time they leave the, uh, the store to the time they arrive at your house. You just simply remove them. You'll begin by putting greenery into the vase and your baby's breath. You cut your stems with a knife on a 45 degree. If you're not comfortable with a knife, you could always use a pair of garden shears. Very important with the roses is never to cut them with a pair of scissors or never to crush the stems. The misconception with roses is that they, they wilt very quickly or they die very fast. In reality, they should last as long as any other flower, if not longer sometimes in some cases. The reason why they have this bad rap is that people cut them with scissors or they cut them improperly or they don't cut them at all. If the stem has dried out, it has healed in essence and it won't drink. So if air gets trapped in there, the next day it'll arrive to the head of the rose and it will wilt. So what you have to do is cut the flower with a, a knife on a 45 degree angle, nice and clean, and insert your flowers one at a time into your bouquet. If you cut it with a pair of scissors, again this just simply crushes the, the stem. It'll cut it, but it also kills the tissue. This does not allow the flower to drink. So it's very important to cut it with an angle, a sharp knife on an angle, insert it into the vase. When you receive this type of bouquet, it takes a little bit more work involved to arrange it into a vase and take some hands on. If you do not like to receive this or do this type of work, you're better off to ask your florist to arrange the bouquet round rather than presentation. When you have it, the flowers all arranged, you could move around the flowers as you like, pull them out, recut them. At this stage, she still has a bit of flowers, the greenery and baby's breath to put into the vase. It's important to keep the flowers away from any direct source of heat or direct sunlight. This will cause the flowers to wilt very quickly. At this stage, if you have any extra green and you don't want to put it in, you feel free to leave it to the side or, or you might want to use it in another vase with one single rose. It's important to fill your vase up with water on a daily basis and spray them with water on a daily basis. This cup helps keep the greenery and flowers hydrated. If you have a flower or a petal that's wilted, the next day just simply pluck it off or pinch it off. This keeps the bouquet from looking not nice and it keeps everything looking beautiful and fresh. Your flowers after about five days will need to have a water change. So simply remove your flowers from the vase and recut them a couple centimeters and replace the water. If you had a, set, a second packet of floral life, you would put it at this time. If not, just change the water to clean water is sufficient. We hope you enjoyed this uh, clip and invite you to visit our website at lubuke.com for more information. Thank you.